today for me is the 1st of February, so we have the notes. I wrote this down a few weeks ago because obviously I knew what I wanted to do this month. And the first thing I wrote down is piercings. I wanted to get two lobe piercings on my left ear. And actually last weekend I was walking into the lanes and I saw this sign that said two piercings, one half price. So I can get one too. I felt like that was the moment for me to do it. So I just followed the signs and it brought me to a tattoo shop. And the woman there was so lovely. I got them done very quickly with needle. It didn't hurt whatsoever, but I did notice that when I got my conch pierce, I didn't bleed at all. And with these two, oh boy, I still am bleeding, which is five days after, which I don't know if that's normal, but I thought I should let you know. That piercing was a pain to sleep on. With these, it kind of hurts a bit, but it's nothing as bad. And I think this will heal much, much faster. But yeah, keep in mind that they do bleed a lot more for some reason. So I guess the first point is already achieved, but the second thing is to move back. Finally, we get to go back to the other flat. It's been so long. Technically, we still need a few weeks, but because we're going to Japan, and you guys already know that we have been there, you will have already seen the videos, but by the time we come back, the workers should have finished most of the flat, so we can go back, and I can't wait to just unpack and put my stuff in my closet. I don't know, I really miss that flat. I love this place, but it's a lot smaller, and I know that we're so lucky that we have this place where we can stay, but. I am so looking forward to just go there. And then the third thing I wanna do is to see alpacas. I know they are here in East Sussex somewhere. I keep seeing pictures of farms popping up on Google and I see that they are not too far away from where I live. I actually contact in the past some of the farms, but somehow they're always booked. It doesn't have to be a big thing and it doesn't necessarily have to be alpacas. I know there are llamas as well, so you know, I can compromise a bit, but I'm happy to just take the car and drive up, see an alpaca from far away. I will just feel accomplished if I can do that this month. For now, these are all the things I wanna do. Should be pretty simple. It's only two left, so let's get going. It's like a nappy 
because he pees inside so we always keep these and we saw it with the little panda and it was too cute but also for Maya again we found this and it's so adorable we did go to Tokyo hence I got this bath bomb that when it melts releases a little dog figurine which it's interesting oh yeah I got this weird thing it's called cable buy and you just put your cable through and it looks like it's eating your phone uh, I got the weirdest one I could find oh yes I got this I absolutely love Arale and it doesn't seem to be that big of a deal none of my friends here knows Arale so when I saw this in Japan I got really excited the very first thing I actually bought myself was this which is a coin purse from Spirit in the Way I love him. When we were in Akone, we went to the open air museum, and in there, I found this tea. Oh, you can get it from under. Oh my god, that's so smart, so you don't ruin the packaging. I brought back some Kalbi. These are my absolute favorite. I always stuck up whenever I go to Japan. So when we were at the airport, we found this shop that has a bunch of cute little things that you can get. So I got these, which I don't remember the name of, but it's those little figurines that you make a little dot on the eye for when you set yourself a goal and then when you achieve that goal you can make the other eye but if I didn't have enough of some real stuff which they showered me with gifts I did buy myself some good time chopsticks because why not and also these toothbrushes. They did give me a toothbrush from Good Tama but in my mind I needed more. Since I'm snacking I'll show you some cookies. This one is from Good Tama. I might just open one up right now. It has a little good time face. Mm -hmm. And then we have the Hello Kitty ones. I definitely prefer the creamy ones, but still pretty good. Over here we have something that you don't really see in Europe, but in Japan they are super useful. So you put your Pasmo card, which is still having here. So you just hook them up on your backpack or whatever you have, and then you just grab it, pass, done. You don't have to take out wallets or anything like that. They give us so much of every character. Here there is mostly Guritama and Pompom Purin, because they're my two favorite ones. I do have a lot of Agretsuko, Hello Kitty, My Melody, but yeah, I try to limit myself because I don't want this video to be extremely long. The first thing, obviously, that they gave me is the backpack itself. I've been wearing it during the trip, very comfortable. I should have thought these out better. When we were checking out the Sanrio stores, they told us that we had a budget that we could use to get anything we wanted. And so I spotted this humidifier. Very much looking forward to it. They gave us some pajamas, which I haven't opened yet. Apparently they have these on Asus. The little pants are the cutest thing. They also gave us this fanny pack, which is totally perfect for Felix. Then I have some good Tama socks. They gave me more, but I've been giving them away to friends, so these are the two ones that I kept for myself. Then we got two headbands, a good Tama one, and my Melody one, which I wore at San Rio Pura Land. Over here we have some postcard from good Tama. Love the colors of these. And we also have a similar style notebook. Oh, we have two notebooks. Never mind. I do have a bunch of tiny little plushies. This is the one that stays on your shoulder, I think. Are you seeing this? Then we have this magnet, which would be great if I had a magnetic fridge. I don't. Of course, I had to get a Tamagotchi with Yudi Tama. Felix had it and has already been playing with it. Oh yeah, when we went to the Pom Pom Boring Cafe, I ordered the vegetarian meal that they had. Felix and I both did. And it came with a mug, so you can put your sauce in it. And I don't know, it's so cute and so unexpected. The final two things are just these. We got some Pom Pom Pouring stickers and this very tiny glass figurine. As soon as I saw it, I grabbed it. When I was a kid and we would go to Chinese restaurants, they would always give you one whenever you finish the meal. And as a kid, I would collect them and so I still do. But that's about it. That is all the stuff and it was a lot. As I said before, this haul is replacing the third goal that I had set up for this month. I'm gonna move that to March, but for now, I hope this did it. I hope you had a fun time watching me unbox all of these and I will see you very soon. Bye!